Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Showtime! Woo! It's live and it's coming! Woo! Yes, sir. Welcome into the Ada Boys, where every day on this channel, we talk about things that we like in crypto, mostly on Cardano. Big show coming up tonight. Everybody is jacked in the Ada Boys community for a variety of reasons. We're going to talk about them, but before we do, cold beers coming up. Crack them if you got them. The Wednesday night stream, it is on. Okay, and we are fired up because a Cardano legend, Rich Ada Dolphin, is fixing to join us for the first time. That is super badass. We'll take a look at the top news on Cardano, and we're going to talk a little bit more about a new meme coin on Cardano that we are into and why. Okay, let's set the table. I am Gavin Dawson. Good evening to you. 15 miles east, the longtime producer of this channel, Will Riggs, and 100 miles south, my main man, Tex, and a good evening to you, brother. How the hell are you? Man, G, fired up fired up. I was on the road for 12 hours today, but we had something really cool happen on Twitter. I'm cooking up the Snecky's whitelist giveaway, so y'all like this video, retweet this video, follow at the real Ada Boys, but dude, couldn't be happier to be here with the homies, and uh, man, we got Dolph on today too, bro. Let's yeah. get it. Yeah, like and sub on your way in. Leave something in the chat for us if you have questions for us or Rich or you just want to say what's up. That would be amazing. Okay, the Ada Boys powered by Katsky AI. Available now at Katsky.io. Salute to Macro Man and the Boys, Cardano Review, Mikoski, all the guys over there at Katsky helping us put this show together on a daily basis. Before we get to Rich, my man, I'm envious of, uh, of you at times for a lot of reasons. I know it's not a positive quality, but envy is real. And uh, you got a Charles Hoskinson retweet today that just it absolutely made my day. I'm playing, man. This was uh, awesome. How'd this all come about? Man, I was driving back from H-Town literally 12 hours today for the Fiat mining gig, G, and I was just vibing, you know, the old... The old Tundra pretty much drives itself, and so I was just scrolling through Twitter. I saw some some feller talking about uh, he's being surprised about Ada like not being all that bad. And I hit him with just some facts, man. I guess with a little, little text truth bomb, and and then I just went on about my business and started getting notifications. I uh, dude, Charles retweeted it, and I'm like, what? You for real? For fuck's sake? And I'll be damned, dude. And there's been smoke coming off my phone ever since, G. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of fun. So it started with this dude, Willie Bot. I tried Cardano. It really didn't seem as bad as everyone says. What am I missing? And the text, uh, the tweet right there from text, haters going to hate my dude. The chain actually works pretty damn well. Uh, Charles is the man, doesn't take shit from anybody. Love him or hate him. You can't argue with reliability, decentralization, governance, et cetera. And, uh, you know, Charles very active in, in social media. I, I know he's not perfect, but nobody is. Um, and sometimes he says stuff that annoys people, but there is no doubt he is one of the most active um, uh, and, and, and smart and, and, you know, badass uh, uh founders in all of crypto uh you know and it, it's it's a massive blessing to have him on our team i mean he got listed on coinbase on white paper you know in, in 2021 he's a freaking legend and now all this stuff that they've been working on is is uh, is coming to market it's it's about to send the cardano ecosystem i think into an unprecedented level of mainstream acceptance text it's a, it's awesome and salute to you Man, I appreciate that very much, G. It's 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 inevitable. There's a lot of admirable qualities about Charles, but what I love about him the most, man, maybe second to him just being fucking unbelievably intelligent, pardon the F-bomb there, is he is just, he's authentically him, dude. He doesn't change for anybody. He is who he is. Love him or hate him. You're pretty much going to get the same damn Charles regardless. And uh, I've got nothing but mad respect for that, man. I'm actually trying to be more like that. Yeah. <laughs> Right on, dude. Well, without further ado, joining us now is one of the most popular dudes on Cardano X. It's been an honor to join him on a couple of spaces. He is an absolute spaces legend and a legend on these uh, Cardano X streets as well. Rich Ada Dolphin joining us now for the first time on the Ada Boys. Welcome in. Cold beer coming up for you, brother. Welcome on the show. Appreciate the cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> nice flipper. That that that's part of the course. Part of the course. Legendary. 
<laughs> Fucking yes, will, God. dude. Love it. Love it. Man, I, I'm just so I'm just so happy that you've joined us on the show and we get to vibe with you a little bit, man. What what, what did you what do you think about Charles Hoskinson? Bro, I love Charles. Um, I know the question always comes up, how does everybody get to Ada? And that was kind of my journey to Ada, and I believe a lot of people's journey, seeing him on the whiteboard explaining the mission of, of what he kind of wanted to accomplish. It was great. So uh, how long have you been here in, in Cardano land? I mean, when I showed up, you're you're one of the first guys that I saw and, and recognized picking up engagement. How long have you been at it? 2011. 2011 is when I first came in. I came from stocks originally, so I kind of brought some of my portfolio over this way because I saw the uh, the potential for gaming. Hmm. So in 2011, that's just Bitcoin, right? Uh, Bitcoin, um, Cardano a little bit, and Ethereum uh, yeah. were, were my starters, yep. And you, man, that, that, that's just an incredible amount of time to be in this space. Uh, what, what projects are you fired up about right now on Cardano? Um, one project I'd have to say I'm still fired up about, I've been in since about December, uh, is definitely SNEC. Um, that's one that I uh, definitely like. Um, number two um, is Friend. You know, Friend came as a close second to them and kind of followed the pathway that they laid out. So those are kind of two undeniable I think um, pillars in our ecosystem right now that I don't think you're going to be able to put that fire out. And do you stay in, in meme and NFT land? Yes, yes. Um, I, I started in NFTs uh, as most people do, but um, I like to have the option to exit, you know, and liquidities are a little bit less liquid. Uh, the NFTs just don't have the, the um, you know, the, the moving power uh, such as coins do at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Like me, you got a lot of NFTs, and there there is a, a, a lot of exciting stuff on on Cardano as far as projects behind the scenes. But you cannot argue with that liquidity factor. And you know, even though we don't have a ton in Cardano, it is definitely enough to facilitate trades. <laughs> yeah, know. yeah. And another one I've really done well on is Levy Finance, man, with the Ape Society. Um, Levy, I've loaned out quite a few uh, tokens. I've loaned out quite a few NFTs there. I made a pretty nice return there also. That was uh, something I experienced that I really enjoyed this year. How's that work? Okay, you essentially uh, lend your NFT out or your coin out as a percentage of the value, right? You get to see see what the percentage of the value is. And in 14 or 21 days, you end up getting um, your initial back with ADA. Or if they default on the loan, you get to keep the asset. So in theory, if it works well and the floors don't fluctuate too much, you know, you can get a, a few hundred a data for lending out your NFT. So what's the strategy there? What's, what's, what's your, your alpha on, on how to win? Well, just strategy is, you know, the more you, you have to have the money to play with, right? So when I, when I would lend coins out, I'd lend coins out, you know, over 10,000 worth, I'd say over 10,000 ADA worth. So I would get a nice return. You know, I, I in my life, I did a lot of uh, rentals and I really, really enjoy the idea of passive income, something I don't have to watch every single day in order to stay on top of. So that was kind of, that's kind of my passive income play, I would say, uh, on Cardano. With Snack and Friend, how high you think they can go? Oh, man, I, I think the sky's the limit. I think we have a much smaller ecosystem here as far as the meme coins go. And those guys are just everywhere. I mean, you can't open up your X feed and not see one of the two just just spouting off. And um, the volume, I mean, the, the two coins have done a, a whole lot of volume over the last few months here. And, um, you know, it's, it just keeps the ecosystem fun. I think that's the, uh, the, the thing behind it. 100%. Dolph, I got a question for you, man. I know we've chopped it up a pretty good, uh, you know, ha handful of times uh, off X, but I'm curious, man, what, you talked about your journey into crypto, but talk to me about what got you into the space game, man, the, the spaces on X. Was it, did you have somebody you looked up to, a mentor that tapped you on the shoulder that maybe heard you chop it up on the phone or, or did you just say, you know, to hell with this, man, I'm, I'm going full send and we'll see how it works out. Bro, uh, it was funny. I got on my first space. It was, um, it was uh, Joe. It was the Stoners Club. So it was a space that was really prevalent a couple of years ago. And um, I was like 100 people. I was like, my job is to speak. I talk to people all the time. And I kind of got up on stage and fell on my face, guys. It was hilarious. Like it was. It, it was and uh, so when I got into NFTs, I got into a real cool community. And I was just a question guy. I mean, I would talk to anybody who would listen, right? And I was like, I'd really try to like to try to uh, learn how to do one of these spaces. And I started a space called Cardano for newbies. And the space was for me, 
for me to ask questions, right? So <laughs> that's how I started. And it started with two people, then four people, and ended up, uh, you know, expanding from there. That's awesome, man. The other thing I got to mention, nothing but respect for the hoodie that you're wearing on our show, man. Representing Texas for us means a God, lot. Bro, bro. Means a lot. <laughs> means a lot. And we're uh, working in a lot in there, aren't we? We got Rangers colors and a Longhorn at the same time. That's double badass. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I, think the, I think the Rangers got on that ass tonight, too. They get to pick yeah. up a little dub or they're about to, eh? Yeah, 6-2. They beat the A's tonight. So, so Rich, you, go ahead, G. Go no, ahead. You, you're 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 a northeast guy right yes uh pennsylvania oh, sorry to cut you off there text no you're good you're good i was just curious rich if you had a a prediction for ada for this cycle man do you have a time frame on when do you think uh uh the 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 the, the, the snoozer uh of the bunch starts to run and uh how how high she might go maybe a range you're looking at starting to exit before the dip i mean where, where, where's your head at brother um, I, I still think we have, uh, you know, a two to three month window. Um, I think we started a lot earlier than a lot of people expected. I think we've been in an upward trend for, you know, the last year. People have bought crypto in the last year, haven't lost. Um, a lot a lot of ADA I purchased at, uh, you know, $2, you know, and I've dollar costed all the way down and I'm still dollar costing on the way up. Um, so I've gotten substantial uh, rewards from staking over time. So I've increased my position over those few years. And um, at $5, I'm going to start to exit. And uh, if we don't get there, I'll see you in 2028, right? Like I'm, I'm not going anywhere. This is definitely a long-term play for me. Hell yeah, man. But it's actually the same number that I have mentally, unless I see it just absolutely start to nuke. Um, you know, faster than I can comprehend right now. Five is, is the level that I feel like I'm gonna uh, start to, to phase out a little bit. So, right on. Right Absolutely. On. Uh, what do you like on, on tap tools right now? Let, let's take a look here, uh, Rich, uh, at the top gainers tonight. Is there anything sticking out that you, you, you're like, man, this is, something's running and, and I think, you know, this project has potential? Oh gosh, I saw one at the top of the page and I, I can't go through uh, an entire show without mentioning Will Noble Token. Um, nice. when, when people talk about utility, I mean, that is connecting the unconnected. I mean, they went 2011 right before COVID hit and kind of stunted their growth a little bit. They were at 20 to 30,000 uh, users uh, for 24 hours, you know, 16,000 users for 24 hours uh, quite consistently. And now they're up close to 100,000 users. Um, so I think they have um, growth potential in, in the next uh, cycle, for sure. You believe in this vision that, that Cardano can can make the world a better place for unprivileged? Is that part of the attraction to Cardano to you? Absolutely, 100%. I mean, I got involved in NFTs based off of a charity, or I'd still just be sitting here with Ada, right? I wouldn't have met all the people in this ecosystem. You know, I wouldn't have met you guys. I would just kind of be sitting on the sidelines, kind of like I did with stocks. Um, but I got involved in the, the auction. Uh, I, I won an NFT and I needed to find out what it was that I just won. So I kind of hopped in and started learning. <laughs> now you're going to be in on the Snackies Mint, right? Yes. Yes, for sure. I got whitelisted. I'm good to go. What, what do you look for as far as signs in a in rather NFT or meme project that, that turns the green light on for you? Um, for me personally, I feel that I'm a little bit spoiled in a sense because I've been in the ecosystem for a while. So I have kind of a, a you know, a direct line to most people. I can usually get to talk to most people on, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So I always like to talk to a founder to kind of try to see uh, what they're doing. As far as meme coins, man, I couldn't tell you. I don't have any special sauce or I don't have a uh, crystal ball here. I'm kind of like the rest of us, man. If it's fun, if it's something that, you know, uh, I can throw, throw a lottery at and, uh, you know, see if I win a few. That's great, um, but uh, I, I don't think I have any special uh, formula um, other than, you know, kind of the top two that I see. Like I said, the, the ones that you see every day, the ones that are, you know, continually out there memeing and making it fun, you know, and being a kind of a soft landing pad for newcomers, right? Because yeah. if newcomers come and get hurt, it's a bad situation for us all. Yeah. You know, there's there's so many different kinds of people here. I, I want to jump over here to this, this new meme. And the reason I bring this up is because you know, you mentioned Snack and Friend, and Friend's market cap is still fairly low. There's a big opportunity there. But, you know, the, the, one of the issues is, for, I think, for new people coming in, it's like there's the established products that you can feel great about. But in order to get that moonshot that you read about 
or can provide generational wealth or life-changing wealth or, or whatever it is, you got to get on projects earlier, right? And I don't know if that's sub a million or sub 100,000 market cap, but if you want those big 50, 100 Xs that allow you to buy the sweet truck or maybe make a down payment on a house, you know, now once you're established, then you want the more established products because you have the security. So if you're a new person coming into the ecosystem, how, how do you balance those ideas, Rich? Um, geez, I, I, it all depends on timing. And I think it's all about your expectations and your goals in the space, right? Like, what are you looking for? Right? If you're looking to buy that sweet truck, I mean, you, you, you might have just as good of a chance of putting in ADA, letting it sit in ADA and, you know, sitting for the bull run, right? But, um, you know, <laughs> that doesn't work for a lot of us, right? We want the, we kind of, we kind of want the more instant gains and kind of want to be uh, more excited. And that happens with fluctuation, which I believe you see a lot more in, in the memes. Um, and you did mention a, an awesome fact there is market cap. That's something I do look at also. Um, I was in uh, the snake space when it opened, right? So I was one of the first buyers. I did really well on snake, right? But I didn't, I, I, I cheated it early. Let me let me say let me say that I did not have patience, and what could have been a hundred twenty thousand ADA gain ended up only being you know somewhere in the vicinity of sixty thousand, right? So um, patience is key, and having realistic expectations, I believe, is, is also key for me. Cold beer for taking profit, though, man. Good good on you. I had a similar experience with Snack. Yeah, uh, I got in early, but. You know, I think in meme land, uh, you assume until proven otherwise, this is going to pump and then go down significantly. So I sold and then it kept going. <laughs> and then yep. when the spec bear market started, I tr I've tried to reaccumulate re that position as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, I paper handed, but you know what? I I've made, I, I think I've done better having, uh, you know, more willingness or more bias towards taking profit than holding. Absolutely. I'm going to agree with you guys 100%. I mean, you turned me on to this snake girl, um, I believe yesterday, uh, text told me, take a peek, do your own research, don't do anything based off of what I tell you. And that's what we all say, right? But I said, okay, if I throw 2008 at this thing, and I lose 2008. Okay, at the end of the day, it was a nice play. Okay, it went up 100%. I was able to take out what I put in and now I'm playing on house money. So in, in that in that ball field in that game, how can I pretend, how can I possibly go wrong? If this yeah. moonshots, I'm in a great position. If it, if it goes to zero, okay, I didn't lose anything. I'm okay. So do you do that at two x? Yeah, I, st I start laddering out at two x. So I usually take twenty five percent out at two x, and then you know I kind of try to watch to see what it's doing. I, I you know I, I want to see the sentiment. You know um, this thing has uh, a low amount of holders, right? So if there are certain people and everybody tells a friend, I mean. It has such a low market cap that, like you said, you could potentially see, uh, uh, you know, a, a big green candle. Well, a lot of the a lot of the focus for me today has been this net girl and 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 text drew my attention to it uh, three or four days ago, and I know a lot of the audience wants to hear about new projects, um, you know, and so you know. Let's talk about why we like it, Tex. You know, and 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 get Rich's a read on this project. What 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 stood out to you at first? Well, man. Anytime I see a project with the word SNCC in it, because of what SNCC has done, it catches my eye, right? And then you have what the Cardano girls did recently. And I haven't seen any project really take advantage of that opportunity, for lack of a better term. You put those two terms together, right? And it was enough for me to say, hmm, this looks interesting. Hop in the Discord. And then what am I looking for in a Discord? An engaging Discord, guys that are answering questions, some uh, 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 some founder involvement, and then I started to see some big names hop in that damn Discord. Gee, so I'm gonna shout them out real quick. I made a list because that's one of the homies I was gonna shout them out. So I got shout beers. out, yeah, dude, cold beers to the following: the homie Brooksy, Kong Travolta, OP, RZ11, Chef, T Fresh, Wave Run. Grayborn and the badass. I believe he's fighting in the next couple days. Bare Knuckle Fight Club, a real life OG. He's also going to be a consensus Austin uh, for the other fight. Uh, that Snake's got another fight in like a chicken project or something. I can't remember the name of that shit coin project that Snake's going to dunk on. But uh, we're going to be there and uh, we're going to hang out with uh, with Michael Heckard as well. But Man, the, we got in at a, at a low market cap, G, and big big whales came in, and it's going to be a community-ran project. There's a lot of good feedback. 
zapping, liquidity is increasing. We had a big well that held, you know, 40% of the supply or, or more at one point. I think he's down to less than 3% now. So I think the ceiling is is gone. Uh, it's got the ability to full send. But again, as I told Rich, as, as he confirmed, you know, do your own research, right? It's not financial advice. Trade at your own risk. It's a mean project at the end of the day. But uh, it's a meme project that's memeing with fire memes, great community, and still, you know, sub 1 million market cap. I think under 700,000 ADA market cap. So I think the opportunity here uh, is is great. Um, I'm, you know, I'm in it fairly heavily, and uh, I'm going to ride this some bitch up to 5, 10 million. I think it has the, the opportunity to go to. Some guys are calling more. So, wow, we're calling man, more. What else? So yeah, some of the homies are in there, dude. You got some absolute diamond hand. We got two guys in there that, you know, pre-sale snack that has still have 80 and like 95% of their initial uh, snack supply they got from the pre-sale. You know, mm. so you got, you talk about absolute diamond hand, uh, you know, OG Cardano Wells, uh, man, who fucking knows? What I, I miss, like, G? What, what else do you think, bro? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I want to hear what Rich has to say. I, I like the narrative though that it's like the snack family you have dad you have wife and you have baby snack you got like do you think that has legs can you th can this thing stick around or will, will it be like other snack derivatives uh is, is there anything here rich what what's your gut say um I, i'm going to second what text kind of laid out earlier i think a five to ten would be uh you know potential but um you know i've also got you know messages from gold snack and other you know, it's not going to be long before other people try to hop on the snake train because of what they've done so far. Uh, because when you put it in the ticker, you see all of them come up. And I think there'll be more um, in the near future. Yeah, it's it's almost like it's uh, other, other coins that might sprout off on base or Solana. Like you have all these different genres of memes that are firing on other chains. But, you know, on Cardano, I think it might be like the snack ecosystem you know yeah they definitely have a footprint here and i don't see those guys going anywhere i mean they came right out of the box with the energy drink they're you know still backed 100 percent by the community i mean you can't run a space without seeing the pfps now show up and you know the snakeies following them um you know deriving from that community so i love to see you know communities branch off i don't think that's a bad thing when they branch off and do things uh you know, anything that we can get that would add more potential viewers for eyes on the ecosystem is a uh, overall good thing. What are your top plays outside of uh, the Cardano ecosystem right now? Do you do much over there? Uh, I don't do much out of the uh, Cardano ecosystem. It's very tough to keep, uh, you know, I, I try to keep about five, five projects that I can keep a close eye on. Um, if I, uh, I find when I don't pay attention to things, I usually get wrecked. That's when, uh, you know, that's when, you know, something happens that I'm not aware of. And I, oh shit, you know, <laughs> here we are. But, um, you know, so I don't really operate. I kind of stay mostly in my wheelhouse, which is Cardano. Mm. Yeah, uh, same sentiment for me, uh, Dolphin. Very similar experience. Take my eyes off it, I get wrecked. I learned that harsh lesson, G remembers. Played around the golf on a Solana meme coin and missed like a fucking 15X in a four hour time frame because I was playing bad golf. Uh, and so that, that really drove the point home for me. I stick to, uh, you know, some V chain, uh, some Doge, a little bit of ETH, and then I'll just fuck hard with, uh, with, with Cardano. So right there with you, brother. You want to jump into some headlines, Rich? Kick around the news? Sure, let's go. Just hang out? Yeah, yeah. Sounds cool. Uh, how about the chat? Uh, any questions for Rich Ada Dolphin or questions about projects on Cardano right now? We'd love to uh, vibe with you guys as well. Telegram linked TonCoin flipping Cardano to become the ninth largest cryptocurrency. What what do you think of this uh, this this Telegram? I mean, this is this is quite popular, um, and and they're building out like a full blown blockchain ecosystem over here. I just think it's badass. I, I really don't care if if Cardano is getting flipped or not. I, I think Cardano is going to have its time and have its run, and it'll flip a bunch of projects. It just just doesn't matter right now. Telegram happens to be the hot narrative. You tip your cap to them, right? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to agree, right? Um... I, it was funny. I saw a tweet the other day mentioning this, and it said, "What the hell is Toncoin, right?" And um, you know, you don't know till you know, you know. And with crypto as a whole, we're going to win as uh, as an ecosystem uh, as uh, as a whole. We're you know, it's not it's a lot aren't going to make it, right? I do believe there's a lot that don't have the capacity to make it. 
But when you have something that's backed by a, a large company such as Telegram, right? You can only hope, you can only hope the best for it because once again, the more people or the more eyes it gets on crypto, it's a win for everybody, right? So um, I don't look at this as a, as a loss. Like you said, I do believe we'll have our day. Um, we're, we're not the first of the race. By the way, I did see a friend launched their uh, a Telegram channel. I, I, I don't, I have not interacted with a lot. I've, I've placed a couple of small wagers, but I think Telegram is about to become a bigger and bigger piece of our overall uh, blockchain ecosystem. Uh, Tex, uh, we have the SEC coming after another crypto entity. What do we got going on here, brother? Yeah, man, the SEC is going after Uniswap. And I think a, uh, a post from Altcoin Daily, shout out those legends, puts it together or puts it in words better than that I could ever do. First, the SEC came for Binance to protect us. Next, they came for Coinbase to protect us. Now they come for Uniswap to protect us. When they missed FTX, Celsius, and 3AC completely. So, is this just going to be another opportunity where the SEC gets dumped on, where they're spending our hard-earned fucking tax dollars on some absolute bullshit because they know decentralization is the future, when they like the Sam Bankmans of the world just do freely until the damage is already done and Tom Brady's got to write fat checks and everybody else that endorsed that ass hat. So uh, Gary Gensler, Jesus man, if I, I'd, I'd slap him in the forehead right now if it wouldn't fuck my computer screen up. Hmm. That's kind of where I'm at with the SEC. What do you make of this this uh, SEC related FUD? I mean, they're just taking L after L. Rich, what's their game? I, I just think it's every time before the bull run, right? Every time before one of them aren't positioned right, you hear some shit like this. That's my honest opinion, right? They're packing their bags and they don't want us packing them first. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I think they suppressed Bitcoin in 2021 because they couldn't let it get out of control until they got the ETF in. I, and I, I'm totally with you, man. They're doing the same stuff right now. I think Gary G is just like a hitman for the banks and, and, and the hedges that want to load up on altcoins now. And they, they, they probably can't do it legally as, as much as they want to until they get regulatory clarity. So we got to slow down the train. And I do think there is a slight concern that it's it's a threat to altcoin season. I don't know if we're going to get a proper altcoin season this cycle. Like you said earlier, we might just have to see in 28, brother. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I remember the SEC got hacked, right? We were on a nice bullish push earlier this year. And then they launched a tweet and saying, oh, we approved an ETF. Then they said, oh, no, we got hacked. And 20 minutes later, all of a sudden, oh, now that we got the dip we needed and got our bags ready, now we, now we can run again. I mean, I just think it's a, it's a smoke show at the end of the day. Um, I, I don't appreciate it, right? <laughs> um, I wish they, we could work together and, and find a way to get through this and, and move forward and, and help with the regulation or what they need to do, as opposed to just this uh, baseless claims, man. It's just terrible. Hey, Rich, yeah. we got a uh, question from our, uh, from our, we got tons of comments, first of all, coming in, everybody. Uh, Fidgety Beast in, in the show, Katsky in the house. Uh, but our friends from uh, Red Harvest, they want to know what, they want you to touch on the, uh, the Chilled Kongs marketplace. And what, what do you think about those? Oh, man, Chilled Kongs. Um, I remember th those were an NFT I did really well on uh, back in the day. Uh, I believe I bought them at 800 and sold them for 3,000. I had quite a few of them. Um, you sold 3,000, bro? You're a legend. Uh, yeah. I, I, no, no, uh, no. I, I had like 10 of them that I sold at uh, like a 2,800 ADA gain or something. Yeah, yeah, but at 3,000, yeah. Yeah, it, it was a big win. That was win. Top, right? Yes, yes. I, that, that was one that I called, one out of about 50, so don't. Like I said, anything I say is not financial advice. Don't listen to it. You're probably better off. Um, but the Chilled Kongs, man, I got to give a, a, I got to give credit where credit's due, man. And when you come back, you know, it, it's the, the NFT ecosystem is an unpaved road, and there are going to be letdowns and there are going to be failures. But when guys can pick that ball back up and run with it and recreate something that's vibrant, I mean, I remember back in 11 back in early 12 i mean it, it was like the mean points today you couldn't get on twitter and not see a chilled kong so uh yeah the marketplace is uh you know i haven't experienced it uh personally as i said uh, a little bit earlier i've stayed kind of out of the nft uh the space uh as far as you know minting or or acquiring uh large amounts of uh nfts 
But, um, you know, I saw a tweet the other day, whales are accumulating and the shrimps are selling. So uh, it might be time for me to reposition myself a little bit. What do you like? Do you, do, do you, have, you, have you been paying enough attention to, to know what's hot right now? Do you, do you like Omen? Do you like Little Sappies? Do you like Clay Nation? Do you like Ape Society still? Um, I, I think the Sappies ha have a way to go yet. I, I think they have, have a lot to do and, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of people rocking them. But um, I also know that it's the next new shiny thing kind of in this ecosystem, right? So something could come in and potentially, um, you know, disrupt what we currently consider the top blue chicks, right? Um, the Ape Society got it, you know, they are, I believe they are going to come back strong, right? They had their bit of FUD. Um, or whatever they did, but I mean, they're still out here. They're still doing their thing, right? So um, I think I, I think it's uh, I think it's going to be a very very interesting run because it, it started very differently um, than we all projected, right? Uh, I thought the apes would still be sitting around five thousand ADA, and they're not. So um, everything I thought coming in, uh, it's it's happening differently. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, follow the whales. I love Omen G. And I'm, that's a task at hand. One of my goals is to get the Omen homies on the show. I think they got some women Omen coming soon. I love that project, dude. Shout out to you for turning me on to it, my dude. Man, they're, they're, I, I think they're cool. I think they got a shot, you know. Uh, I, I like Omen. I, I like the Ada Peepos as well. What oh, did you think about the the Ada Peepos, uh, like, kind of rebranding to friend and, and leading with the meme coin, that story from last week, Rich? Um, I, I think that was a great idea from the team being a, as you know meme coin is kind of the narrative that's being pushed whether it be soul whether it be you know wherever you look it's you know what meme coins going to pump next where are we going to get our next 500x right it's what gets you the clicks but um you know I think that was a, a brilliant idea by the team because you know everybody in the chat is always you know showing their peepos or showing the frogs you know it's going to go to the frogs um, but if, if you get somebody um, that wants to participate in the meme coin ecosystem and kind of see what it's like uh, I do think it is important to lead with uh, lead with the coin. Have another story here to take a look at. What are we waiting for? Asked the SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce discussing moving crypto regulation forward. As uh, maybe this is you know not not totally unrelated to the Uniswap story. You know, here you have Uniswap coming under fire from the SEC and the commissioner trying to move crypto regulation forward. I, I could see that, you know, both of those things uh, working in harmony. From my understanding, this Uniswap lead attorney, though, is like the most badass attorney in crypto. And he is expected to like windmill 360 dunk these mofos into the, in, the next uh, row. But I, I don't. You know, I don't even think it's that hard. You know, I, I, I agree with you. I, I don't know how much of a fight the SEC is actually putting up. This is just essentially dragging it through court to ex extend the time. You know, so I, I don't even know, you know, how hard it is to beat the SEC right now. As long as you pass the bar, I think you might be able to get the job done. Okay, what else do we have here, uh, Tex? Any other headlines you want to jump into? Uh, let me take a look right here, quick G. Um... Oh, we got one analyst. Uh, you got the link you pull up about the dollar uh, seventy uh, yeah. prediction. Yeah, so I like that one. I like that one. Let's look at the, uh, the summary here. So renowned crypto uh, analyst Ali Martinez, essentially saying that ADA is maintaining its bullish structure and is calling for a three hundred percent ADA gain, not during the run, not over the next couple months, in the coming weeks. So. I saw a lot of negativity, a lot of, oh, when ADA is going to move, blah, 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 I'm losing money on ADA, blah, 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 fucking blah, blah, and I just figured, man, eh, maybe let's interject some bull juice. I don't know this gentleman um, coming into this story. I got shot him a follow, uh, looked at a lot of his content, looks pretty good. I won't say that he's on the same level from my limited knowledge of uh, Kenji Yesrael or uh, the one and only Noyek. Um, but it does look pretty sharp, and anybody who says dollar seventy ADA in the next three weeks uh, gets the old tickle in the pickle uh, from Ooh. text. So I figured it was, you know, no really. You dig? Dollar seventy in the next three weeks? Could we move that th that quick, Rich? What kind of a time frame are you looking at? That that would be awesome if we got that kind of action within the next three weeks. I mean, I believe that speaks very highly for where we could potentially go, right? But um, once again, I mean, you never know which one of these, you know, SEC reports could be, you know, launched next week or which kind of FUD they can try to launch next week. And, you know, the, I, I believe the uh, powers that be are going to determine when this can actually go. Yeah.
Okay, yes. let's share this tab uh, uh, text. We got some baby snacks stuff happening, and they're they're participating in drip drops now. What else is going on? Yeah, yeah, drip here? drip drops went live. Shout out to the baby snacks community, the legend Brooksy. Uh, drip drops went live. Their wallet count is up, I think, over 200 wallets since went, since it went live two days ago. And before the show, they were at 998 holders. Hell yeah, they crossed the 1,000 holder mark. They're at 1,004 holders. So, baby snacks had a correction since it's wick up to 640 ish. It's come all the way down to the 417 range. Uh, G, if you want to pull up the chart real quick, I love your take on it. You're just better at the, this shit than I am. But looking at the daily, is 350 the the, the next level uh, well, where we could come down to? Or I mean, what are you what are you seeing? You know, I do, I don't know because you know it's become so evident from Brooksy that he's he's doing a hell of a job defending levels, you know, and 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 I I I don't know, you know, if if because to me, this is a clear opportunity to wait. You know, um, for for two one eight, I'm I'm looking for a much bigger dip if I'm trying to come in with my back. Now, Rich, I don't know about your uh, strategy on this, but when meme coins have gone up and they they're starting to trend down, I'm thinking I want to wait for that floor. Um, but if a catalyst is coming up, like I know Baby Snake has, then I want to DCA smaller percentages of my available capital here in situations so I don't miss out on the entire thing if I do have conviction in it. Absolutely. I, I always try to buy in the red, right? I never try to buy at the top of a green candle. That's why uh, when I did look at that coin originally this morning, I said, am I going to wait a minute? Uh, because yes, and typically in this ecosystem, you do see the blast off, uh, you know, for the first couple of days, you see the retracement. And I usually look for a confirmation, you know, whether it be, in, uh, you know, upward or downward. But, uh, you know, if you currently are putting in higher highs and, and lower lows, I mean, if you're DCAing into it, um you should be okay yeah yeah well said well said so for my uneducated opinion being the least talented charter out of the the, the group here i'm looking at an immediate range of 360 worst case scenario down to 263 on the four hour similar on the daily so if it were me knowing what i know about brooksy knowing what i think i know about what is coming with the prototypes the decisions that have been made the news to come and oh by the way he's gonna unveil that bad motherfucker on this show pardon my french again i said the upward again but shout out brooksy for making that decision that's cool i'm i'm starting to layer in now i mean if i don't have a if i don't have a position in baby snack after the recent highs i'm starting to limp in now uh if it gets down to that 350 range i'm limping in heavier and god forbid it gets down to that 270 ish range i'm throwing the freaking bag at it that's where i'm at so i'm calling that my juicy bottom ish right now best yeah. value buy right now for me on cardano is uh is baby snack close enough i mean and it's been a uh you know a couple of weeks since it's been down here at these levels uh, close to a month now since it's it's been down at that but usually the meme coin charts will have this peak they'll come down here they'll go back up and then they'll slowly peter down in this descending triangle that you'll find quite prevalent regardless of ecosystem and then at some point way down here then it finds life reverses the trend and moons i, I just think baby snack has been so strong Wrong while other projects were tanking it's a difficult read okay uh we want to salute the heckles uh, uh nft project they had a successful mint today congratulations to everybody that had some clean polls and congratulations to the heckles team and and best of luck to him on his fight here we go here's the art got some pretty cool sharks you guys get one of these you jump in there or you gonna buy on secondary no, I have not yet. Gee, I was on the damn road all day, got home, family time, and then got prepping for the show. But I am gonna mint. I am gonna mint some of these, and I'll post them. But um, what's really cool about this, I did catch it. If you hold at least ten of those, uh, and they mint out, then there's gonna be a, as I understand it, like an all expenses paid trip uh, for a couple people to go down on it, watch the fight at Ooh. consensus, and sit with Michael Hecker. Uh, real life badass watching some you know mediocre uh, badass uh, badasses fight at uh, at consensus. So uh, not many opportunities you get like that to to go watch a fight with a real life fighter. I understand there's free autograph uh, memorabilia as well for holders. So uh, a lot of cool shit and great white shark. I mean I've always been fascinated by the great white sharks like the baddest some bitch in the ocean. 
Uh, yeah. Maybe the Hulk has a couple of great white sharks too, but uh, yeah. I don't know. And he's got the gold chain on too. I mean, you know, that's, I fuck with it. I love it. Rich, you're gonna be a consensus or any of these events in real life? Can we can we hang? Yeah, yeah. I don't know about consensus. Um, I I think Rare Evo is going to uh, they're going to combine with NFT Con in Vegas. Um, but um, I know Dubai is also very close to there also. So um, being that I already went to CNFT Con, I don't know if I'm going to do Dubai or Vegas this year. Ooh. Well, we'd love to see you, man, and, and salute to everybody that's going to make it out to Dubai. We plan to be at Rare Evo in August, so if uh, you're planning on uh, heading out there, we would uh, we'd love to see you. So, hell yeah. Uh, should we circle back on the chat, Will? Anything else before we uh, let him go? Man, Fidgety Beast has been up in here just murdering it, man. He's asking heck if he, you know, how many NFTs are left in his mint. He, I, I didn't see him any. Uh, uh, uh he didn't uh, he didn't reply to that not that i could see in the chat anyway uh fidgety beast and swiggity swaggins they're all going to be out there i love so i always say his name backwards it's swag and swiggity but i like swiggity swaggins they're going to be out at rare evo as well so we're all going to get to hang out there in vegas so I, I just think rich needs to come chill with all of us in vegas and we'll we'll make some badass content putting the pressure on you rich man yeah no call me out or nothing i guess uh i guess i'm going to have to uh gonna have to commit <laughs> <laughs> right on brother and like the the pre-kickoff uh rich as i understand it there's gonna be at a pool and djs and djs djs and drinks and uh i'm gonna be in a different state like free of responsibility so i'm going to cut the fuck up and i'm gonna need uh meet a party buddy because you know g g g g g's g's more responsible these days i'm gonna go full sin the night before uh come conference time is business mode but the night before hot diggity damn i'm getting after it well rich thank you so much for your insights for your strategies for your alpha you are a proper legend sir and uh we're forever grateful and uh and uh you know look forward to the next chance we get to chop it up with you buddy Bro, thanks for having me. I appreciate you guys, man. Have a wonderful night. Salute. Appreciate you, Dolph. He is at Love Rich Ada Dolphin on X, a must follow for Cardano fans of NFTs, memes, and other alpha. And uh, I'm sure he'll have a space as soon that you can check out. Anything else, buddy? It's It's been a big night here on the Ada Boys. Anything else before we say goodnight? Man, I just want to shout out 260 Live, man. 260 Live right now, checking out uh ada boys man we work really hard to bring you guys some badass content and producing on my side and these guys giving you all the uh all the alpha and all the good uh you know good vibes and uh you know all the uh not financial advice we're just giving you uh giving you <laughs> crypto news <laughs> but we appreciate everybody for tuning in man 262 yeah. live viewers is badass and yeah, that's oh, yeah. awesome salute to you guys all righty. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with a, a lunchtime news show. Get you caught up on the market and all the top headlines for your morning as you get set for your uh, lunch and into the afternoon, uh, Thursday and Friday. And then we have a big Saturday stream schedule coming up with uh, with the friend guy, Jeff, right? Yes, community manager for the friends, Jeff. He'll be with us Saturday, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. My name is Jeff. 6 p.m. Pacific. <laughs> yes, his name is Jeff. And uh, we'll see if we can't cook up something cool. Uh, to give away, uh, and I will get the old Twitter picker uh, fired up once okay. uh, we, we finish up, and yeah. uh, we'll get the old Snecky's whitelist giveaway winner picked. Yeah. And, uh, good luck to all you lucky some bitches. Uh, one of you guys is gonna be really lucky. Okay, yeah, jump on to at the real Ada boys. I, I think we might have a, a peepo that's not staked, and we have quite a bit of friends, so we'll do some big giveaways on Saturday. And until tomorrow's uh, new show at noon, shoot chat, boy. Shoot chair, boy.